Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm back with another reading for the collective. So thanks for joining me here at the Essence of Life Tarot. Big thank you to my returning subscribers, new subscribers. I love and appreciate you all. I hope everyone's good, doing well. So let's jump into this reading. It looks like this reading is picking up on a situation where I feel like someone wants to be your lover. We've got lovers. Or you could be in a situation, a lover situation. Take how it resonates. This is someone that wants to align with you. Align. They may want to apologize. We've got apology. Someone wants to apologize. They're hoping for your understanding. So they may want to apologize for something they did. They're hoping for your understanding. This is someone that wants to align with you, be on your vibration. Lovers. So let's tap in to the energies. Let's see what spirit wants us to be aware of with this situation. So remember, it is a general reading. Only take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't. And flip the roles as necessary. We've got the chariot in reverse. Ace of Wands, Two of Swords. Ace of Wands. Yeah, so there is someone out here, they're thinking about you, yeah. There's someone, you're in someone's head. Could be a Cancer, got Chariot here. Doesn't have to be. But yeah, this is someone that wants a passionate new beginning, Ace of Wands. It's all about new beginnings here. So this could be some... Someone that you've uh, started seeing, you've, you've started a new beginning with, for some of you. Mm. Or this is what this person wants. Take how it resonates, but there's something, it looks like there's something blocking. This person could be blocked for some of you, or... Yeah, there's an issue here. Chariot in reverse. There's an issue that's uh, preventing you guys moving forward, it looks like. Yeah, it could be what this person wants to apologise for. Let's uh, clarify. Dig a bit deeper. Ten of Cups. Okay. Ooh. We've got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Queen of Swords. We've got Queen of Swords. we got the Emperor in reverse. And we've got a King of Cups in reverse. Okay. You could have blocked this person. <laughs> There is blockages here. There's issues. Queen of Swords. You could be in this energy. Where. It looks like you're not taking no BS here. Like Queen of Swords is the energy of someone that doesn't take no BS. It's the feminine energy. <laughs> of someone that, that is um all about the truth. Nothing but the truth. You may know something here. Yeah, this could be a situation where this person was, was up to some BS here. You may have cut them out, blocked them. I don't know, there's some sort of blockage here. If you didn't block them, then um, looks like, um, yeah, this is someone that has to come to you correct. Also, they have to come towards you correct. They're in their head about it because they know that you are not about that BS. This is what I'm getting. King of Cups, so strong cancer energy. King of Cups, we got a um Emperor here as well, Aries. So Cancer Aries. Take out resonates. Could be a third party situation. Two masculine energies here. Could be a work affair or something. Could be a work affair, Ace of Pentacles, because it looks like um the main issue in this situation is financial. Ace of Pentacles is in reverse. So this person could have money issues during this time. 
They could be working for someone or with someone. That's not really successful. I don't know. The emperor energy is, you know, a masculine energy. This could be, you know, like a boss. But it's not, um, it's like a tyrant though. If this is a boss, this is like a tyrant energy. Someone that's very narcissist. It's a narcissistic boss. I don't know. Like this is someone, they may work for a narcissist or they may work with a narcissist. And I don't. I feel like there's issues with with payment, finances. I'm getting that. Cause there's passion here, Ace of Wands. But um, the finances is off. There's issues. If someone could be struggling with money. Yeah. And it could be because it's it's who they work for, who they're working with. So this person's in a sticky situation. Six of Swords in reverse. There's blockages here. Preventing this person moving forward with you. Because whoever this is, they want a relationship. Ten of Cups. Like, long term. This is long term. This is someone that wants a Ten of Cups with you. I feel. It looks like this is someone um that feels, um you know, emotional fulfillment with you and happiness. Ten of Cups. That's emotional fulfillment and happiness here. Long term, this is someone that probably wants a family with you. It's giving, but um, you're in this Queen of Swords energy. You guys are not really aligned. You you you're not in the same vibration. King of Cups in reverse, Queen of Swords, Emperor in reverse. Yeah, you guys need to align here. The, the energies is not really aligned here. I don't know for this Ten of Cups because Queen of Swords. So maybe you may feel like this, uh, whoever this masculine energy is, they're playing, they're not serious. King of Cups in reverse. I don't know. This is the energy of someone that's like a manipulator. Emotional manipulator. They Maybe you may feel like they're playing with your feelings. Yeah, for some of you, this is someone um that's not really um trustworthy anyway. King of Cups in reverse, Emperor in reverse. This situation is not trustworthy. Something going on here. These two masculine energies, they could be lovers. This could be a work affair. Let's get some more messages here. Let's get some more insight. I love you. We got shattered. So someone feels shattered. This is someone that loves you. Ten of cups. But yeah, uh, that's, this is what I'm saying. It's like... <sighs> this person feels shattered. This is someone that wants to apologize and tell you that they love you. We got options. Someone got options. This someone's got options. This is someone shady. Yeah, I can, this is what I'm saying. Heartbreak. Fucked up over you. Yeah, you may feel like this is what I'm saying. King of Cups in reverse. It's giving. You guys are not on the same vibration here. You're not on. This is what I'm saying. Because you, I feel like you know this person. Um. Yeah. They're up to some bullshit here. <laughs> they could be trying to manipulate you here, play with your feelings. But yeah, I feel like you're standing your ground in this situation. You could have blocked this person. I don't know. This is someone that's got options or they want to treat you as an option here. Yeah, shady. Shady. Heartbreak. This person's heartbroken over you. Is this someone that broke your heart? Take out it resonates and they want to apologize. Did they feel fucked up over you? They fucked up. So this is someone that fucked up. So this is someone that had their chance with you. He's giving. They had their chance and they fucked it up. They were seeing other people. They were entertaining other people, being shady. So they could have been lying to you about it. 
They could have been trying to lie to you about it and try and play you and stuff. Yeah, this is what I'm getting. Narcissist. Hmm. So now they want to apologize because it looks like you're not you're not um putting up with this bullshit. This is what I'm getting. Then they want to apologize. This is hoping for your understanding. We've got toxic lifestyle, drinking, enablers, bad choices, partying, drugs, unhealthy, promiscuous. So this is the lifestyle of this person that wants this ton of cups with you. They want this relationship with you. This is their lifestyle. Toxic. Yeah. They're all about drinking, making bad choices, taking drugs, being promiscuous, partying, bad choices, options. So this is who's fucked up over you. Someone that's out here living a toxic lifestyle, trying to be shady. They want to come in and sweet talk you. Yeah. Side eye. Apology. Unsure motives. Yeah. This person can't be trusted. It's manipulation. This is someone that comes in. Give you a lot of compliments and stuff. I love you. Give you, you know, come in and love bomb you and stuff. I love you and all, and all of this. You're my queen. Beautiful, hey, beautiful, a lot of compliments and stuff, shower you with a lot of gifts or, you know, love bombing energy. That's what it is, king of cups in reverse, love bombing. They're narcissists, they got motives here. They're shady. Mm. So this is someone trying to get away with um, treating you as an option, trying to get away with seeing other people. So they want, they want you and everybody else. So this is someone sweet talking you. For some of you. Trying to get back in your good graces. We've got new boo. So for some of you, this is something new. This could be something new that you started for some of you. Ace of Wands. Or this is someone that wants to start something new with you. Or for some of you, you could have a new boo. You could have someone else that you're part, you're, you're, you're booed up with. And now this person is fucked up over you because they chose other people. So you got a new boo. And now they want to come in and apologise. They're heartbroken that you got a new boo. Oh. They, yeah, this is someone. <laughs> Shit, they, they missed the boat. You already booed up for some of you. Huh? Or you're going to be, I don't know. Living in the moment. Shocking news. Shocking news. You're going to find out something shocking. This person wants to come in and tell you something shocking here. This person lives in the moment. This is someone that lives in the moment. Live a toxic lifestyle. We've got wingman. Best friend, partner in crime. Covers for them. So this is the two masculine energies here that's come out. The Emperor and the King of Cups in reverse. They may work together. That's what I'm saying. Partner in crime. They're partners. They could be business partners or something. Or colleagues, co-workers. I feel like they work together. There's, there's, uh, there's finances here. That they are involved in. When it comes to finances, I feel like they work together. Yeah. So this is the issue. The wingman is the issue. We got jackass. 
this person feels like a jackass or they are a jackass they're a clown clearly juggling all these people juggling you juggling divine feminine we got divine feminine beautiful you could be this person's divine counterpart or but you are someone that's leveling up out here you know divine feminine yeah this is why they feel like a jackass there's nobody that compares to you all these options all these options that they got out here, they don't compare to the Divine Feminine. Yeah, this person's not on your level. They're not. They, 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 they got, they're in this clown energy. Whoever this masculine is, they're a clown. They're not on your level. I mean, you guys are not aligned here. So I said, Queen of Swords, King of Cups, in reverse. There's, your vibrations don't match. This person needs to align. I don't know. They're, they're a clown, whoever this is. At the bottom, we got pop the question. This is someone that ten. This is someone that wants a ten of cups with you. They want a ten of cups with you. This is someone who wants a long term relationship with you. They want to marry you. Yeah, but they're not. This is someone not on your level. I'm sorry, but please, they're not on your level. This is a waste of time. What else do we need to know? Uh, get some messages from this deck here. You're yeah, divine feminine. This person is a cloud. I mean, really? Oh, no clown. I don't know, but they want to come in and apologize. I don't know. I don't know about this situation here. What is the point of this reading? <laughs> like, really? Ugh. We've got a um, new lover. So this is someone just seeing somebody new. So a new boo. You got a new boo. This person's got a new lover. Take it resonates. Living in the moment. This is someone that lives in the moment. So their wingman could have encouraged them to sweet talk someone new. They're sweet talking someone new out here, like a jackass, living in the moment. Their wingman put them up to it, hooked them up or something. Fell for temptation. I don't know. This is someone out here, sweet talking new people. Yeah. The wingman's behind it. This is someone being watched by the police. For some of you, this is your twin flame. Oh shit! <laughs> I did pick up on yeah, divine feminine. This could you could be this person's divine counterpart. Unfortunately, this is your twin flame. Out here acting like a jackass. Yeah, jackass. Your twin flame's a jackass. Unfortunately, that's what it's giving. <laughs> yeah. Sorry to say, but yeah, they're a jackass. Jane. I don't know, this reading just looks like it's picking up on a masculine that's just a, a clown out here. I don't know. I mean, they're choosing someone out. They're choosing someone over the divine feminine. This is a jackass. This masculine, they know that you're their twin flame. They know who you are. They know you're my twin flame. But they're still choosing other people over you. Over a divine feminine. Real jackass. He's a real clown. Oh no. <gasps> shit. Their wingman's taking the piss out of them. Oh shit. Well, they're, let, they're allowing their wingman to take the piss, isn't it? Is this someone toxic anyway? They may take drugs and drink a lot and stuff. Yeah, they're about that life. So, very low vibrational. This is someone not on your vibration at all. Little low vibration, narcissist. Oh, it's a joke. Real clown energy, man. Real joke. Very entertaining. He's a clown. Remember in the past? So he's giving Six of Cups energy. Yeah, is this someone nostalgic? They're, very, they're nostalgic out here. 
Someone scorned. There's a scorned female. The new lover is scorned. Don't know. One of their options. Is this someone in the spotlight? All eyes on this person. They could be famous. Or well known. They like attention. They get a lot of attention. All eyes on this person during this time. They're in the spotlight here. A woman pay for the affections of a man. So this masculine is involved with someone that's giving them money. This masculine has got money issues. Maybe they're not getting paid at work or something. Whoever they're working with. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles, that's what I'm saying. They're working with someone that's not paying them. or I don't know, they're struggling. Or this masculine got debts. That's what it is. They owe a female money. A scorned female here. I feel like they owe this woman money. <laughs> she scored. She looked like she's um she she wants revenge. So she wants her money back. A woman paying for the affections of a man. It looks like she wants her money back. <laughs> it looks like. So this must have got debts to a female that they were sleeping with. Giving their affections to. They were giving their, their affections to this female here. And she was giving this fem this masculine money. This masculine is a gigolo or something. I don't know. They're a clown. So she wants her money back. So this is issues. I feel like this is what it is. Like this masculine, this situation is not able to move forward. Because this masculine here has got financial debts, burdens. It's giving these people that they've got to pay back. It's, it looks like... This female could have called the police or this masculine. There's the police involved, hey. Scorned. I'm telling you, she wants revenge. Oh, shit. So they've got that situation going on. This is why, yeah, it's not, this situation is not um, for you. It's drama here. She wants her money back. So this masculine got to pay back this scorned female their money. Pay attention to what you're teaching your kids. This message came out in the previous reading. So this they got kids. They, this must have got a child. They, they could have a child here in this situation with this female. And they're not paying attention to what they're teaching their kids. They're too busy partying. Someone's too busy partying. Living toxic lifestyle. Oh. Oh, shit. It's a lot going on. So this masculine got a lot going on, it looks like. Wow. Yeah, it's a clown situation. So, I don't know. This is someone that wants to come in and apologise and get back in your good graces and stuff. Oh, don't look like it's worth it, though. So you need to use your discernment with the situation. I mean, like I said, Queen of Swords, divine from you could be this Queen of Swords energy where it's like this person has to come to you correct or just don't come at all. Like nobody ain't got time for this BS. This person's a clown. They're choosing other people. Over the divine feminine. It could be because they're struggling financially. They're struggling financially. So they, they could be the type that goes for people that they can benefit off. It looks like this masculine could be codependent out here. They're financially codependent. They're not really, um they ain't got it like that. You know, they could be struggling, man. They're broke. I don't know. But yeah, they need to work on themselves. They're not on your divine uh level. Yeah, far from it, mate. It's giving clown energy. It looks like a mess. Shit. This person's in the spotlight. They're entertaining everybody. I don't know. Very entertaining. They're an entertainer. I don't know. But they're being watched. They're being watched by the police. Everyone's watching this person. I don't know. This girl female. The wingman. The police. Everyone's watching this person. Even Divine Feminine. <laughs> You look like you're watching them too. It's like everyone's watching this person. They're just in the spotlight. All eyes on on, on this masculine here. This is what I'm getting. 
They're very entertaining. They're, they're putting on a show or something. They're putting on a show. All eyes on this person, even a new lover. Everyone's watching this person here. The scorned female, the wingman, the police. All eyes on this person. They're in the spotlight here. They're putting on a show for everybody. I don't know. They're trying to please everybody. I don't know. This is what I'm getting. They're trying to please you. They're trying to please the scorned female. They're trying to please their wingman. They're trying to please a new lover. They're just out here putting on a show for everybody. They're just trying to run around and please everybody during this time. Like what? What are they doing? And the whole time they've got a child out here that they're not paying attention to. Pay attention to what you're teaching your kids. They're not paying attention to their kids. They're running around entertaining their wingman and the new lovers. Scorned bitches. Shit. The police is watching. I don't know. And they want to still want to come and get back in your good graces. Apologise. Apologise for what? For being a clown. Because yeah, this is someone trying to start something new with you. Be all love bombing you and stuff. In the meantime, while all this is going on, for some of you. Yeah. Shit, they could have caused heartbreak. They're causing heartbreak out here. Like, this is someone, oh my days, what is going on? This is someone that's creating a right mess out here. Really? Oh, please. Then you, this is someone who used to get their life together. So for some of you, this is your twin flame? Oh, no. Yeah, they're not on your level. So, yeah, I mean, if this is someone trying to start something new with you during this time, you need to use your discernment yeah, with the situation. It looks like. But moving forward with this person here is just going to hold you back. It looks like chariot in reverse. That's a red flag. Chariots in reverse, so this person's going to set you back, it looks like. Yeah, what else we got here? we got Hammer, talking. Yeah. Hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. Do they want to make an effort with you? Hammer. Yeah, they sabotage this connection. This person sabotage this connection, it looks like. They want to rebuild it. Talking, interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives, text, call, email. So you're going to hear from this person somehow, one way or another, text, call, email. They want to talk, they want to apologise and work on it. So yeah, you need to use your discernment here because uh, it looks like um, this is all eyes are on this person. <laughs> so this person has got burdens here. They've got to pay people back. They've got kids that they need to pay attention to. Shit. This is someone that's still entertaining other people. Keys on the ring. Many options. Decision. Unconventional. String along. One night stand. Yeah. For some of you, this person just wants a one night stand. Or they're just trying to string you along. This is it. Options. Keys on the ring. I mean, yeah. This is someone entertaining other people. Not just you. You know? Oh, oh, please, the player. The Aries, for some of you. Cancer. Take okay, out it resonates. It's a player, anyway. What's this? Oh, yeah, look. The Golden Mirror. Self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. Love bombing, yeah. Narcissist, self-absorbed, narcissist. This is what it is. Not enough, frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear slash ego issues, jealousy. So this is someone that's just jealous over you. Yeah, because they're not on your level. So yeah, this is giving insecurities. This is someone insecure. That's what it is. This is someone that don't have enough to hold the divine feminine. This is what I'm getting. They're insecure. They know they don't have enough. So this is why they're not giving it their all. This is what I'm getting. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. They're not confident here, deep down. They're insecure. 
Yeah, so they self-sabotage because of their insecurities, fears, fears slash ego issues. The insecure here, this is someone that, that feels like they can't, you know, hold a divine feminine, someone like you. Yeah, this is someone codependent out here. And uh, they got jealousy issues. They could be they could be jealous over you as well. Yeah. So they self-sabotage, it looks like. Not enough. I don't know. This is what I'm saying. This is someone not on your level. A narcissist. It's looking out for themselves. Yeah, you may block this person. I don't know. But you're going to hear from them. They're going to call or email or something. Text. You've got healing heart. Yeah, if it's one of you, this person's a heartbreaker. They will, they love them. This is someone that's love bombing you. This is someone trying to love bomb you and stuff. This is a situation where you, you, you're, you're healing from. You have to heal from. Yeah, free from toxic relationship. Healing from heartbreak. Freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Healing heart. Yeah. Getting over it. This person's bullshit, man. This is what I say. This is someone coming in with bullshit. I don't know. This is someone you had to heal from or you're healing from. Take out it, it resonates. But it looks like uh, this is someone you've dealt with already. You know? Been there, done that. So now they got to come correct or just don't bother. And they know it. <laughs> they know it as well. Look, fucked up. Fucked up over you. Look, soulmates. So you guys are so this is a soulmate connection, this is with this person. Soul connection, partnership agreement, soul contract. Yeah. It clarifies the twin flame. Abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude, bliss. So you're out here manifesting. Yeah. You're manifesting your true desires. You're free from this. This is toxic. This is a toxic situation. Whoever this is lives a toxic lifestyle. They make bad choices. And they're very promiscuous. They're promiscuous. They have a work affair going on. They, they sleep with people for money and stuff. You're manifesting your true desires. Keep a positive mindset. Yeah? Manifest exactly what you want. Yeah. Free from toxic relationship. This is toxic. Yeah, so for some of you, I feel like you have cut this person out. Or you set up some sort of, some form of boundaries here. Yeah. This is it. Keeping a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude. Bliss. Exactly. Yeah. So I feel like, uh, it's all about focusing on yourself, is giving. Because whoever this is. I don't know, they're trying to treat you as an option and it looks like they're a waste of time. Yeah. Soulmates. Yeah, it's, it's a soulmate, but they're karmic. I don't know, it's giving karmic. Karmic soulmate for some of you. Karmic, your twin flame, they're still a karmic. They're not on your level. Yeah, this masculine's not on your level. They want to come in and they're trying to come in or, you know, you love bombing you and shit. Yeah, it's not it's not successful. It's not gonna get anywhere. If this person's uh still up to bullshit, they're still full of shit, it looks like. It looks like this masculine's still full of shit. So yeah. It looks like you're better off manifesting your true desires out here. Keep a positive mindset, yeah? You got abundance coming in. This is what I'm getting. Yeah, so use your discernment with this situation here. Because <laughs> this master's going to try it. They're trying it out here. They're coming in to try it, you know. Try and get back in your good graces, yeah. But this is someone that's a narcissist. They're selfish. They're only thinking about themselves right about now. This is someone that doesn't want to be, doesn't, they don't want you to be with your new boo. Because I feel for some of you, you got a new boo. <laughs> so this is someone that's trying to interfere here out of jealousy. They got motives. This is what I'm getting. Yeah, you already broke free from this. Or well, you're breaking free, so take out resonates. You got a new boo here. This is someone that's trying to uh, interfere because they're jealous. Because they know they fucked up. Yeah, this is someone that knows they fucked up and they are fucked up over you. Self-sabotage, it looks like. 
Oh gosh, well let's hope they learn from this. It looks like they messed up. <laughs> Big time, I don't know. But yeah, I'll leave it here for now. That's the messages. This is what I'm getting for this reading. I hope it helps you guys. Uh, if it does resonate with you in any way, give this video a thumbs up for me. Please like, share and subscribe. And I hope you join me in the next video. I'll be back soon. Bye for now.